Have you ever heard of the Eye of Sahara, also known as the Rikhat structure? Located in the Sahara Desert, this mysterious geological formation has captivated scientists and explorers for decades. What makes it even more intriguing is the fact that some people believe it to be the legendary lost city of Atlantis, which was said to have sunk beneath the waters thousands of years ago. Many have presented many theories about this discovery, even the Herodotus Atlantis map. But is there any truth to these theories? Let's find out in this video. Before we talk about the Eye of Sahara, let's talk about how the story of Atlantis came to be in the first place. Atlantis is an island city-state mentioned in Plato's dialogues, Timaeus, and Critias. It has been an object of fascination among Western philosophers and historians for nearly 2,400 years. According to History.com, Plato heard the story of Atlantis from his grandfather, who had heard it from the Athenian statesman Solon, 300 years before Plato's time. Solon had learned it from an Egyptian priest, who said it had happened many years ago. Now back to the Eye of Sahara which is also known as the Rikhat structure. According to USGS.gov, it's a symmetrical dome of eroded sedimentary and volcanic rock. The outermost rings measure approximately 40 kilometers across. Persistent northeasterly winds keep much of the dome free from sand, exposing the various layers of rock. This site is a geological wonder that has puzzled scientists and experts for decades. And its vast and enigmatic circular formation found in the Sahara Desert of Mauritania, stretches up to 50 kilometers in diameter and has become the subject of diverse scientific studies and research. Geological Background The Eye of Sahara is a geological formation that can be found in the western part of the Sahara Desert, in the vicinity of the city of Wadan, in Mauritania, West Africa. In the late 1960s, it was used by Gemini astronauts as a landmark. They first thought that it happened because of an enormous impact crater. But they were wrong. It was established that the circular structure is not the result of the impact of a meteorite as previously thought but rather, a product of natural erosion and geological activities. It's one of the most prominent and outstanding geologic features in the Sahara Desert. The formation is circular in shape and its vast size can be attributed to both its diameter and the steep cliffs along its edges. Due to its massive size, it is only visible from the air or from space, indicating its remoteness and inaccessibility. The Eye of Sahara has three distinct geological layers, which were formed over millions of years, the basement, the Mesozoic, and the Cenozoic. The basement layer is made up of rocks from the Precambrian era and marks the foundational layer of the Rikhat structure. The Mesozoic layer, which dates back to approximately 200 million years ago, is the product of tectonic activities that caused the interior part of the structure to lift above the surrounding terrain while the Cenozoic layer that is younger is mainly composed of sedimentary rock sequences that surround the interior of the structure. The central part of the Eye of Sahara is the blue-colored dome, which is formed by the uplift of rock formations in the area. The ring-like structures surrounding the dome are concentric folds that are layered on top of each other, giving the structure its distinct circular shape. Scientific Discoveries The Eye of Sahara's unique geological nature has been the object of extensive scientific research and study for years. According to ScienceDirect.com, it consists of gabroic ring dikes, kimberlitic intrusions, carbonatites dikes and felsic volcanic rocks. It also encloses a kilometer-scale siliceous breccia in its center cross-cutting Proterozoic and Paleozoic plate-formed sediments. Is Eye of Sahara, the legendary Atlantis there has been an argument going between researchers whether the Eye of Sahara was just a natural formation. Many believe that it was the lost city of Atlantis. Proponents of the theory have it that the Eye of Sahara is Atlantis. They argue that the structure is too perfect to be a natural formation, 
and that it may have been caused by a catastrophic event such as a meteor or a volcanic eruption whose impact may have destroyed the ancient city. They also point to the fact that Mauritania shares a coastline with the Atlantic Ocean, which was allegedly the supposed location of Atlantis according to the ancient Greek philosopher, Plato. They backed it up with the map of Herodotus. King Atlas, aka King of Atlantis, and Namer of the Atlantic Ocean is the same person as Atlas of Mauritania. Herodotus's map from 450 BC places Atlantis in the same place as the eye. The Egyptians, the first tellers of the Atlantis story, were colonized by Atlantis. It's through their descendants that we came to learn about Atlantis and its precise location. In Plato's Critias and Timaeus dialogues, he describes Atlantis as three alternating zones of water and two of land, which could easily be transposed onto the physical structure of the eye that we know today. Recently scientists discovered a vast river network that once carried water for hundreds of miles across western Sahara under the parched sands of Mauritania. The French-led team behind the discovery believe the river carried water to the sea during the periodic humid spells that took hold in the region over the past 245,000 years. According to Plato's Atlantis story, Atlantis consists of three rings of water and two of land. The ring city has an opening to the Sea of the South which weirdly matches the description when you look at the Eye of Sahara. Modern-day Mauritania exports copper and gold, which were plentiful throughout the empire of Atlantis. According to legend, Atlantis was rich in ivory because elephants were abundant there. Coincidentally, many elephant bones have been found near the Eye of Sahara. There was also the theory of black, red and lighter colored rocks reported to be embedded throughout the land of Atlantis. These rocks are also found in the Eye of the Sahara. There have been thousands of artifacts found in and around the Rikhat structure. Most are 12,000 years and older, which puts them in the time frame of Atlantis. These items include arrowheads, spears, stone spheres, surfboards, oars, ship hulls, and more. However, the theory that the Eye of Sahara is Atlantis has been widely discredited by geologists and archaeologists. The formation has been scientifically proven to be a natural feature that was formed over millions of years due to geological processes, including erosion and uplift. Studies have also shown that the rocks and soil present in the structure are consistent with those found in other geographic formations in the region. Furthermore, there is no concrete archaeological evidence to support the existence of Atlantis, and the story of the lost city is mostly considered to be a myth. While many researchers have searched for Atlantis over the years, no credible evidence has ever been found to support its existence. While the theory that the Eye of Sahara is Atlantis may be intriguing, and may have seemed like a compelling option for the location, it lacks concrete evidence and has been debunked by scientific research. As scientists continue to explore the world and uncover new discoveries, we may one day find evidence of the lost city of Atlantis, but for now, we must rely on the facts and evidence at hand.